guys, it's Riley of Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Patchwork, and today I am here with the Pounds to Play-Dohs video. The dog is here too, um, if you can see him, hi Uncleberry. Hey guys, editing Riley here, and I just want to say sorry that I am blurry and not in focus. Um, it does not get better throughout the video. This is my first time filming on my Nikon camera, and honestly, it's way too hard. Filming on an iPhone is just way easier. So hopefully, um, future videos will be filmed on iPhones and not blurry. Uh, it may help if you watch on a smaller screen as opposed to full screen, so it's not <laughs> hopefully as blurry. Um, if you do end up watching through the whole thing, thank you for watching through the blurriness. If you don't know who I am, I am Riley, a between full-time and part-time reseller on mostly the Poshmark app. I do a lot of reselling content, so if you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe. But today I'm here with a Pounds to Play-Dohs video, which is my series where I go to the bins or the Goodwill outlet, dig through big blue bins, and pay by the pound for items to resell for myself and to take to Play-Dohs closet. It is May 29th in Illinois, well, everywhere, but in Illinois on May 29th, retail stores are starting to open back up, which means Plato's Closet is open today, and I don't think I'm going to go today, but I will go soon and take the stuff that I thrifted at the end of February, and it has just been sitting in bags waiting for me to take it to Plato's Closet and to film this video. So if this is your first time watching Pounds to Plato's, or you just don't remember how this video works, is I'm going to show you a piece of clothing, and in the corner, one of these corners, there'll be a little check mark or X mark for whether Plato's Closet accepted it or not. This video will show you kind of what Plato's Closet takes, but... I always take stuff back at least twice, usually three times, because different buyers buy different things. In my last video, my last Pounds of dos the woman buying my clothes that time had bought a lot of more edgy... Can you hear the dog licking his con? <laughs> she had bought a lot of more like edgy rocker... I don't know, that's not... <laughs> just... She stayed clear of the boho clothes that I brought which was kind of weird because, I mean, that's a very popular style right now. So those clothes still have to go back for their second time, but today I am filming the all new stuff to take to Plato's Closet. So uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you're interested in tips for selling to Plato's, those are just throughout the video, I say tips. And as well as my numbers will be at the end of the video. So if you're strictly here for my profits and how much they paid me, um, there'll be a timestamp down here and you can skip to that part, but I recommend watching the haul so you know what Plato's Closet is buying. Plato's Closet does not often buy based on brand, they're buying based on style. So trendy pieces, um, seasonal pieces, the dog is just walking all over. Uh, they do, they are supposed to buy out of season two, which I have seen them, they have bought my stuff out of season before, but I think I have a lot of sandals this time and maybe some summery stuff. And so if you're at the bins and you feel like they're only going to take like, they take lower end mall brands like Forever 21, um, American Eagle pieces maybe you don't want to sell, um, what else, H&M, they will take Zara, but I like to sell Zara for myself generally. And they also just take no-name brands, TJ Maxx brands, they like Target, they like, you'll see, okay, you'll see. But that's my first tip is you don't need name brand clothing, just stuff that's in style and cute. Also, a quick another tip. This is something I would wear to sell to Plato's Closet. You want to look nice when you take your stuff to Plato's Closet. If you walk in looking like a slob, that's the image they're going to get. And they're not going to want to go through your stuff. Or they will go through it, but they're not going to be as excited. And you want them to be excited to go through your stuff. So, let's just get into the video. I'm going to show you what I picked up for Plato's Closet. Okay, I'll show you some shoes first. So if you're curious how much I paid, I paid $1.20 per pair of shoes and 75% Oh my gosh. 75 cents per clothing item, and that is for the Plato's Closet items and for the items I got to sell for myself. These are Mossimo Target sandals, and I picked these up because summer was coming and based on style, but they do have a little bit of uh, just discoloration, like marks, so I might have to wipe these down before I take them because you don't want to take them stuff that's in bad shape. And if you're curious what to do with stuff that doesn't sell, uh, donate it to a woman's homeless shelter. Okay, next up, another pair of sandals. These are Franco Sardo, which is a brand you could totally sell yourself and maybe get like $15 for these. 
I just personally don't really like Franco Sardo, and they have a few little scuffs along them. So I'm just going to take them these. I think they'll buy them even with a few scuffs. If not, you know what? I'm going to sell these if they don't take them for like 15 bucks maybe. I still have the Goodwill tags on them because I like to tell you how much Goodwill was originally charging if they have the tags on them. Um, these are a pair of shorts I've never heard the brand of before. They are high rise, what is the brand? UNI, yummy. Shorts that are new with tags. They're a juniors, I think, because it says size nine. Oh, I think the dog's gonna get on the couch. Are you gonna Um, <laughs> sorry if that is distracting, but uh, I'm not gonna move. Uh, so Huck's gonna be in this video, I guess. So, Goodwill originally wanted $4 for these. I would not have picked up. I paid 75 cents to take to Play-Dohs. And so just new tag hybrid shorts good for summer. Oh, he's drooling. He just drank water. Okay, this is a brand I do not know. It's just called CC. This looks like a more mature piece, so I don't know if they will take this for sure. Um, but it's a cute summer print, so we'll see. So here's definitely a more fall piece. And if they don't take this, I could sell it, but not for much. It's just apartment nine, which is Kohl's. But so what was I saying? It's just like a nubby sweater with some color in it. Cute for fall, but they say they buy year-round, so we'll see if they take it. Plato's Closet is always looking for men's stuff. I don't know if they'll sell that as men's or women's, but it's a good thing to remember. If you find men's things in good shape at the bins, pick them up for Plato's. All right, next I got these, again, Massimo Target shoes to take. They are a platform sandal. I think these will do well, especially for the season coming up. They're in good shape. And not much else to say about those. So I believe this brand is actually sold at Nordstrom. It's Carlos. Maybe it's not. I don't remember. It's just called Carlos. And uh, they're just a black booty, so definitely a better fall piece. But I don't feel like dealing with them. They're full suede. They wouldn't sell for that much. So I know Plato's will like these. Even if they don't buy them now because of out of season, they'll buy them later. These are just fab little heels. And these you could probably sell for a little bit. Like I would, if I was gonna sell these, I'd probably list them at like eighteen to twenty dollars. Except the thing is, I have two pairs of Just Fab shoes that I've been sitting on for a long time. These are like cheap, you know, online subscription type shoes, and I don't want to sell them because the two I have haven't sold and they've been on there for a while. So I think Plato's will take these shoes. This is, I believe the brand is called Uniqlo. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know, I'm filming on a new camera. <laughs> it is just a plaid flannel shirt. Again, out of season. I don't feel like selling it. You probably could get a few bucks for it on Poshmark, but I'm just gonna take it to Plato's Closet. Okay, Knox Rose Target. Goodwill originally wanted $5 for this, and I got it at the bins. So Knox Rose is a Target line, which if you have not, I don't know how much I've talked about it, I have been selling some Target pieces on my Poshmark closet and they've been doing well. Mostly sizes XL or large to like 3XL, but in this one's just a medium. I can't imagine the selling for very much. I've mostly just been selling the dresses and the shoes. So this one will be going to play this. And if you didn't know, Target does have day tags in the pieces. Moving on. Oh, okay. This is a head tennis brand. Uh, yeah, like athletic pullover, and my Plato's closets are always looking for athletic wear. This one has a fun detail on the back, and Goodwill originally wanted six bucks for this. I think I couldn't get very much for this on Poshmark, so I'm just gonna take it over to Plato's. So I do have two Christmas items, which I think I'm not gonna take this time. I'm just gonna set to the side so there won't be a checker next and I'll take them closer to Christmas. This is just an old navy Christmas sweater. Who knows, I might even list that when it gets closer to Christmas. And these are no name, but new with tags, like fair isle, cheap little, kind of pajama pants. Shh, quiet. No, good boy, yes. So those will go to Plato's closet later in the year. Uh, shh. Okay. Next is just a Forever 21 dress. It is, Huck is being annoying. It is velvet 
cute strappy dress i honestly i don't know if the velvet stuff like this is still in style who knows if they'll take it although the plato's closet um you i've been taking stuff too recently takes more than my other location and often stuff that's a little more out of style so we'll see. this is really cute but i looked up the brand and it didn't look like it was worth much which is a bummer it's called british khaki it looks like it could be worth something but it's not, so it's just like a plaid skirt that will be going to Plato's Closet, and Goodwill originally wanted $7 for this skirt. Oh, my legs are getting tired. Here's another pair of Just Fab shoes. Again, you could list these on Poshmark. I just haven't had much luck with the brand. Who knows, maybe the heels would do better. Maybe I should check comps. Honestly, I just don't feel like listing them. These are super cheap, so I'm just going to take them to Plato's. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Here's a brand I would generally list myself. It is Sam Edelman. Except I just, I don't like the style and there's like a little more wear than I would prefer to them. They're like uh, a cage sandal. So, going over it to Plato's Closet. Moving on, we got another pair of shorts. These are Forever 21 and honestly since it's short season, I do want to try that. These look like they might be a little bit too big. These are size 27. I can't remember if I tried these on or not. These totally look like a pair of shorts I would wear. I might try these on. If not, they're going to Plato's Closet. Oh, here is a men's pair of American Eagle shorts. So again, men's Plato's Closet is looking for it. These are cargo shorts though, and I didn't feel like listing men's cargo shorts. Oh, there's just some fuzz on the front if you saw that. Um, if they don't take them, I'll list them. I just don't know how trendy men's cargo shorts are right now. So if Plato, again, Plato doesn't take them, I'll list them. This is Fila. I could probably sell this. I guess it's kind of out of season. Maybe should I list it or should I not? I have so much stuff to list right now that honestly, I just don't feel like listing this. Maybe I should list this. Okay. This is a Fila kind of North Face style jacket that has a galaxy print on it. Uh, I don't know why I threw this in my Plato's closet pile because I think it's cute and it would sell for like 15 bucks. So honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this to list because it will be good for bundles, although it's kind of out of season. Hi, Huckleberry. Now, what's this? This is American Eagle. Why didn't I keep this for myself? This is an American Eagle sweater from 2018, so it's pretty recent. Um, again, this is, is this a dress or a sweater? Hmm. This is something that I would consider selling, although I just don't feel like taking photographs of this. I know it's not going to photograph great, right, and I probably won't find stock photos for it. So I'm just going to take that to Plato's Closet. Next up is an Old Navy dress. And they purchased the last printed Old Navy dress I took them in this style, so hopefully they purchased this one as well. Oh wait, is this like a longer? I think this might be a midi dress. Cute. So we'll see if they take this dress. What is this? Okay, this is an American Eagle tube top. This is, again, this is something that I would list. I don't know. You know what? Since it's summertime, this is not going to Plato's. I'm going to list this. I packed this bag when it was fall, or not fall, when it was February, but this I'm totally going to list and it will sell in a bundle or for cheap. Who knows? What is next? Sorry, this is kind of, oh, okay. This is a no name, like probably cheap Chinese clothing brand. It just has a size large tag in there. And let's be real, this probably isn't even a size large. And eh, maybe it is, but there's this, and hopefully they take that for being white, it's in good shape. Quiet. Oh, okay, this is just a simple striped old navy dress. It sells a good bold tag on it for $6.99. And here it is. It will be good for summer, super cute. Oh, my back's getting tired sitting here. Okay. So these, I went back and forth on getting, which is funny because, I mean, it's pretty cheap from the bins, but I don't know if they'll take these. They are like a rock stud heel with an ankle strap shoe, and the brand is 
Ashro. I've never heard of it. I can tell it's cheap. I don't know if they'll take these, but we'll see. Continuing. Okay, so these are Massimo. Oh, there's hair in them. Massimo sneakers, band style from Target. Go to one seven dollars for them. I got them from the bins. I have a feeling these will do well at Play-Dohs because cheetah print sneakers. So this is, I have this shirt in a lavender colorway and I kind of want to keep it, but I don't need it. It is Code X Mode, which is a Nordstrom Rack brand. So I got my shirt from Last Chance. Goodwill wanted $5 for this, and as much as I want to keep it, I think I'm going to take it to Play-Dohs. If there's not a check or an X down here, it means I kept it. Next clothing item is this MNG Basics dress, and I don't know, is that Mango? For some reason, I feel like this is the brand Mango. Can you see that tag? Who knows, maybe I'm making it up. Okay, so I didn't realize this had a flaw in it until I got home, and so in the pleating, there, right here is a little pole, like some stitching has come undone in the pleating, but it doesn't affect the wear. I don't know if they'll take it, if they notice it. This is Champion by Target. I don't know for sure. Oh, it's new with tags. Okay, they'll probably take this. Um, no, I could probably list this too because, should I list this? Why can't I get this? It's a layered... Here we go. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, so this is from Target. It's new with Tags Champion, and it is a size. Where I just saw the size. It is a size XXL, and Target or, or Target Goodwill originally wanted seven dollars for this, and this is something I'm kind of considering keeping to sell because it's an XXL. So it's a workout thing with a built-in bra. I don't know, so much stuff to list, but this stuff is also, this would probably do well. I don't know, if there's not a check or an X, it's because I decided to keep it and sell it myself. Moving on. This is a North Face hoodie. It's an older one. And I just, I don't feel like selling it. I don't really like it. It doesn't make me excited. You could probably sell it and get a little bit of money for it. But I'm just going to take it to Play-Dohs because I have to take something to Play-Dohs for this video. Next up, what is this? This is called Body Glove, and I've actually seen this at Goodwill before. Um, again, you, this is something you could probably sell, but it's just, I know, not going to photograph very well for me in a flat way, flat lay, and I don't, I don't really like it. I don't feel like listing it, so it's going to Plato's Closet. Also, I can't tell if it's a dress or a shirt. Some more shoes. Okay, these are Forever 21. Little booties. Super cute. What size are they? I mean, I probably I wouldn't wear them, but I do like them. And I think they'll take these just because they're trendy and cute and other stuff. Is this American Eagle again? This is. Why did I throw all this American Eagle stuff in here? Okay, I threw this one in here because it's pilly. Um, so if they don't buy it, I will list this American Eagle top. They might not because it does have some pilling. It's a soft and sexy off the shoulder. Uh, they, they might buy it, they might not if they don't look at it closely because <laughs> it does have pilling. This is not my best Plato's Closet haul. I actually kept more stuff for myself to list. I did better this day in shoes than I did in clothes, which usually happens at the bins, which I would prefer because shoes do very well for me. This is just a Forever 21 bodysuit. Not much to say about this. Hopefully the crotch is clean. Um, hopefully I checked. Crotch looks clean. We good. Moving on. These are a Birkenstock style I can't even see. These are Birkenstock style sandal from Falls Creek. I have no clue what brand that is, but they're super fun. There's hair from them that's super gross. Okay, they're metallic. Not much to say. Hopefully they do well. I think they will because it's summertime and they're Birkenstock style and they're metallic, iridescent, whatever. Okay, these are just a universal thread from Target. Flip flop with strappy whatever. And again, Summertime sandals. There are a lot of sandals in here, which I am thankful for. Okay, these, I don't think they'll take these. I bought them for myself to sell and realized they're not worth any money. They're called Bayleaf. 
like the like biking shorts. And I don't remember why. I just didn't look these up. I just threw them in my cart. The reason I bought them is because it says designed and tested in Italy, and it has a little continent of Italy in there. But they're like worth like twenty-five dollars a year or something. So we'll see if Plato's wants some biking shorts. I don't know if they will because they're not trendy ones. They're like athletic biking shorts. Okay, this is Forever Twenty One Plus, and it is just a lightweight. I can't talk. Light knit. Lightweight knit cardigan, and Goodwill wanted six dollars for this, which is kind of a lot. Uh, and last but not least for this pounds to play this video, are these not exciting New York rewash brand Los Angeles vintage reunion shorts? That's a lot. I don't. I don't oh, there. It's a skirt. So I'm not blue. The brand is on these. It's just a denim skirt. It's cute. Um, it's distressed. And I know before they were closed for quarantine, they were looking for denim skirts. So I don't know if they still are, but if they are, I have one. So guys, that is everything. I'm taking a Plato's closet. Um, some of the stuff I threw in my, the side to keep for myself list, I'm just gonna throw in the bag to take to Plato's closet because I have so much stuff right now. I need to get this stuff out of my house. So that's all the clothes I'm taking to Plato's closet right now. Well, not right now, but in five seconds, I will have taken these to Plato's closet. So if you want to hang on and watch for the numbers, how much I made from taking these clothes to Plato's closet, just hang on one second. All right, guys, I am back and filming on an iPhone 11 because my success broke and I had to purchase a brand new phone that was very close to $8,000. Um, but that's not why we're here. So I went to Plato's Closet and sold the stuff, and you're here for the numbers. I brought Plato's Closet 25 pieces of clothing that I paid 75 cents for each piece, and then 12 pairs of shoes that I paid $1.20 a piece. They gave me $40 and like 48 cents or something. And then they, for the $40, they bought six pairs of shoes and they bought 15 pieces of clothing and obviously you have seen what they have taken and rejected i paid for a total of all those items eighteen dollars and 45 cents i made about twenty dollars um so a few things uh i'm gonna say what i always say in every single plans to play-dohs i'm going to take the stuff they didn't take back uh, i take it two or three times i'd say usually three times i'm just lazy and it takes me a long time and so on that note the first thing i noticed they weren't really taking fall items they may have taken um one or two fall items but really the majority of the fall items the buyer at Plato's Closet did not purchase. And I think that's because I went a few days after they had opened from being closed for two plus months for quarantine. And I think what they really need right now is summer clothes. And that is what they really are looking for. So for sure, the fall items I'm gonna hang on to and take back probably end of August. And so I do expect to be making more money from this haul on the fall items that she didn't accept. Some of the stuff she didn't buy, I'm just going to go ahead and list myself and not even take back again. Um, probably like those men's, sorry about the lighting, is it weird? Probably like those men's American Eagle shorts just because it's short season and I'm sure I can sell them for like 14 bucks on Poshmark. While I was in there, I noticed about the same amount of guys shopping as there were girls in the store there was a group of like three guys who came in and just a few more individual male shoppers and in a plato's closet in the men's section is so much smaller than the women's so men are going to plato's closet at least that location to shop and i would definitely recommend and i'm going to myself try and start picking up more men's stuff because often if i see like men's american eagle jeans i don't even think to pick them up for plato's i just pass on them so i'm going to try and start picking up more men's stuff. And it's just like about having the mindset at the bins to see a men's item instead of just like throwing it aside. Like, oh, this is something that would sell at Play-Dohs. Another tip, your Play-Dohs will tell you what they're looking for and listen. So I'm um, when I was checking out, she was ringing me up because I did buy two items. She told me we're looking for shoes. If you have any shoes, uh, more shoes, please bring them in. They will tell you what you're looking for and therefore you can go to the bins and specifically like have that in your mind. Like, oh, my Plato's closet needs shoes right now. Cause then they will be more inclined to buy shoes from you. Say they're pretty full on dresses. You could have some great dresses, but they're only gonna take 
the best of the best in dresses because I just don't need them. So with that being said, I do have a few bags of stuff that I need to retake to Plato's Closet and so I will be making more than the profit of the $18 that you just saw. Oh, Huck's coming back. Remember, he was in the first half. You can't see him, but he's here. Wanna say hi. Hi, Huckleberry. There's a box of clothes that I need to take care of. Okay, well, I'm sorry if the angle has changed a little bit. All right, I kind of forgot what I was saying. But what I was trying to say is one of the reasons my profits were lower than normal for Plato's Closet is I just didn't find as much stuff. I only took them one laundry basket full of items where normally I would have at least a laundry basket full and a bag of shoes. So I did have less stuff this time. Lastly, $20 profit may not seem like huge profit for the amount of time that goes into it, but I think about it like this. I'm already at the bins. I want those items to help me get to like 25 pounds or whatever. So I pay 99 cents a pound. I'm saving those items from the landfill. And honestly, the whole process wouldn't take me that much time if I didn't film these videos, but I enjoy making these pounds to play those videos and I hope that you find them helpful. So total, I don't count the buying at the bins time. I probably spend half hour cutting Goodwill tags off, organizing my stuff, an hour driving there, selling the stuff and coming home, which I also store at Plato's Closet when I'm there. So it's a lot of killing two birds with one stone. Obviously this is not for everybody, $20, Again, it's a pretty small profit, but it's not my normal. Normally I would make more about $50 profit in one trip. So guys, I think I've said everything I have to say for this Pounds to Play-Dohs. I'm very sorry about the blurriness of this video in the beginning. I now have an iPhone 11 and will probably be filming on this for all the foreseeable future videos. That was a weird way to put that. I do have a kids consignment video coming. I picked up in the same trip of the stuff you just saw. I picked up a bunch of kids stuff to take to Once Upon a Child because I'm very curious about how much I could get paid for taking kids stuff that weighs pretty much nothing. Um, I shouldn't say that. I have about like 20 pounds. So like $20 worth of kids stuff to take to them and see if I can possibly make money there. I did call them and they are not accepting, um, they're not buying stuff right now probably because, uh, well I know because of COVID but I'm assuming because it's children's clothes in COVID? I don't know. So they said they don't know when they will be purchasing items again, but that video will hopefully be coming sometime this summer. I've already filmed the first half of me hauling all the kids items that I have to take. So guys, thank you so much for watching this Pounds to Play this video, especially if you stayed till the end and managed through the blurriness. That was very annoying for me to edit, uh, but I put so much time into filming it, I didn't want to refilm it. If you like Pounds to Play those, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a like on this video. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in reseller content, and I will be having more videos very soon. That's all for me. Bye guys!